Hey folks, it's Beard Boy here, and I have a problem. My home village is extremely ugly. So in today's video, we are going to completely transform this village from something ugly to something truly spectacular. All in modded Minecraft hardcore. So the first thing really is to try and fix this situation here. Uh, there is a bunch of ugly blocks like this podsole to site. I would like to switch the pod sole to moss and keep these regular overgrown to site areas and completely fix up areas like this. So I'm gonna need to go and get some moss. And I think I have the perfect spot to start this out. And to do that, we're just gonna grab some bone meal. Oh, this is gonna be a lot, but we need a lot. It's time for grinding. Hey folks, while we're gaining those resources, consider pressing that white subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. This is actually really therapeutic for some reason. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, now with all of this, it's time to start dismantling the place. Now, folks, it is time to start placing some moss around the place. So much better. Oh, that ugly, ugly podzol is gone. We did a little bit of terraforming just to make sure that it looks a little bit good, but I try to keep as much of the original generation as possible because I think it's kind of unique. My craft generation is just unique. Now it's time to really work on these roads, which the roads themselves are now much cleared up from this. But I also want to go and completely restruct some areas as well as making some ways up. Look, I'm probably going to kill this because we have this pathway. And I'm fine with not having stone or like slabs we might add it for detail for some spots but i'm really happy with how it's going so far so it's time to do some pathways now with everywhere completely redone in moss and our areas of the roads completely reworked to be more nicer now i'm gonna head to the end and we're gonna go get ourselves a bunch of end blocks so we can start building the buildings
Ooh, what do we got here? If the door was available. Oh, hey, that's good. And crystals. Oh, oh, oh. oh. And ooh, this looks... We have an internal crystal. It's our first internal crystal. If you don't know why this is such a good thing. Well, these right here, this armor is what it's made out of. And this is some of the most overpowered armor we could have in this game. I want to get this armor here eventually. And this is going to be our first step towards that. That's great. And we also have some more stuff in here. Oh, this is fun. This is what I call fun time. Okay, now that we got a decent amount of blocks here, I'm going to make this village vibrant. Replay mod time. Okay, so for the roof design, I want to do something in the mixture of uh, stone, to site, and other types of stony blocks. So cobblestone, stone brick, and other types of stones that I can get my hands on. Because I want this place to be the most vibrant place in the whole Minecraft world of this world. So I'm gonna spend some time on Okay, folks, we have a absolute lot just from here alone and from here. We have a lot of building materials. So I this is my test building. This will stay, I swear. Uh, we're going to use it to get like a grip. So I want to have a couple of different styles. This will be like a turquoise house. I want to have a white house, not the president house. And I want to have a, a lot of variation in this village. So, folks, it is time to get back into the replay mod. Envision this home being kind of like the flowerist home of the flower villager, if you know what I mean. I think I have these in this pack. I want to make this a home for the flowerist. So back here, I want to put some of the good old plants that we got from the end. I should have more here, I swear. There we go. Maybe this guy is studying plants we don't even know. So that is what I'm kind of going for with this villager home i want this to be special okay can't use that one <laughs> there's another beautiful there's another beautiful building an amazing garden now it's time for our next building now i'm working what is gonna be a little bit of a tall tower i've never really built these too much in minecraft so i would love to attempt one going up going down all around ow but it's gonna go a little bit in the air right below this I don't want to go too big or it's going to be a problem. Now it's time to make another house for funsies. And I think for this one should be right here perfect and what we're gonna do is a roof based off of moss i really like this idea i i think i really really like this idea now it's just time to get it built yes this is what i wanted now this looks good i am liking this i am really liking how this is going so now i'm gonna go build another place Ooh, i like this I really like this. Look at that. Okay. So I'm going to have to get some more. And yes, this is kind of expensive for what it is. This is going to be extremely unique build here. And what I'm thinking for is that this could be a little area. Like we have the watchman area. Kind of like a little watchtower. We have a farmer's house. We have a random kind of mossy overgrown house. And that's also a feature of these villages here and we have like a traditional house this one i want to be similar to that one but more for the farmer 
Okay, for the farmer, we're just gonna plant some basic stuff here to show, hey, this is the farmer. Like some of these good old sweet berry bushes, we'll also have one of these growing on the inside to represent the farmer and his needs. A hay bale here, and then just a little bit of pumpkin spread around, because apparently these guys like pumpkin pie based off my assessment, apparently. Like some right there. Yeah, I'm liking that. It shows that this guy is the farmer indeed. And we'll make sure that people know. There we go, a little bit of more interior design here with the plant department here. I also wanted a mini tree, actually. Almost forgot to make this mini tree. So we'll just put it right there, there, and bop. So yeah, they're studying plants in here. That's the entire point. Uh, of the idea here is that this is a plant studying area for the florist. I was totally not to, uh, forgetting to do the interiors. I, 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 can, I can explain. Now I'm just going to build a couple of small areas. By areas, I mean like sales booths. Because I think we have enough buildings with the originals that we kept and the ones that we added. So there could be some places where, let's say there's somebody trying to make a sale to us, if you know what I mean. So we'll just... That doesn't work, okay, I'm gonna have to think this through. we go, that's better. And here, let's say this is the farmer, since he's just right there. Let's just say what they're selling is pumpkins, because that would make sense, right? Farmer needs his little pumpkin supply. There, yep. And we'll just have a little spots like this with uh, different roofs. Uh, yeah, I think I really like that. So I'm gonna go and make some based off of certain areas we have built. Uh, outside of this, like this is like a watchman area. There we go. We now have the flower booth. And here is a mining booth where you could order your stone based blocks. I'm really like this. Also, if I haven't <laughs> said anything about it, planted a bunch of these trees around. I think down here, because it's a more of a farming district anyway, we're going to keep the way it is. But now I'm going to go around and we're going to add some detail. A lot of just stuff around the place so it looks lived in. Oh, I love just spamming the bone meal button. Okay, folks, I think I finally have gotten it to where I've wanted it. I'm a big person that loves overgrown villages, and I am extremely happy to say that this, for now is done. I say for now because we're going to expand this village as we continue in this series. We're going to have more builds, more amazing things. We're eventually going to expand out to these parts. Not right now though, it's extremely ugly. But we've gotten it where we have some unique unique glowing plants, uh, rocks everywhere, and just unique trees. This to me is something I like. I like overgrown looking builds. And I like how this has ended up. Besides this, um, I need to get rid of this at some point. This is a right reminder for me if I watch through this video. Destroy this in the nether portal. Come on. I think we've gotten it to a good place to end it. We got a bunch of brand new villager builds. Which I might need to get new villagers. They may have died. But <laughs> besides that, uh, besides this one, this hasn't been uh, built up yet. But most of them have some type of theme to them. And I'm really happy with how they ended up. And I hope you guys are happy with how they ended up. If you are happy, consider subscribing. Because we're on the goal of 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Comment down below how you thought I did it in this episode. If there's anything I can improve on this village. And consider liking the video because liking always helps. I've been Beard Boy OG, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.